Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you the options of SEO content machine. I'm going to show you how to uh, set it up properly and make the most out of this piece of software. First of all we are going to see the proxy settings and I have prepared the list of proxies here. So, basically why you need proxies is because uh, SEO content machine uses Google and Bing search engines to find content for your link building campaigns and if you're just using your own IP to access those engines you will get banned at some point on the other hand if you're using proxies then you're simulating you're fooling Google and Bing that you're not access it's not only you who is accessing this content but it's around 40 people in this case since we have 40 proxies now it's important to test them if they're working properly because if they're not then you wouldn't be getting any content so I click check and as you see we have quite a few working proxies now what I'm seeing here is that we have more than enough working proxies actually I've never seen the need to have more than five or six so what I can do now is I can lower this value to about 1500 which means that now I'm going to receive when I check these proxies uh, the proxy checker is only going to wait 1.5 seconds before it gives up on a proxy and declares it as broken although it might be working but it will be slower if it can't respond in 1.5 seconds so I'm going to click check again and now we're getting quite a lot more broken proxies or at least proxies are showing up as broken and only 14 working which is plenty click copy working and paste now I have a working set of proxies and I can continue mm, the templates window basically it allows you to set up the formatting of the output of SEO content machine different link building soft pieces of software uh, use different formatting for uh, their content so in order for SEO content machine to work properly it has to be able to generate content in the necessary format for each of these pieces of software and that's why you have different settings for formatting for each of the pieces of software in this list and if the your personal weapon of choice is not in this list then you can add it but personally I would recommend uh, that you make a request to the author of this program I've made quite a few requests for new features and he was very willing to implement them so my suggestion is that you don't try to do anything here and just request a new feature but of course it's always a nice option to be able to do it by yourself next we have content sources uh, basically these are the sources that SEO content machine uses to uh, find content for your link building campaigns now what SEO content machine does that 
I think no other program can do at this point is that it allows you to add new sources from which to scrape content which is really cool because if everyone is scraping the same sources it's going it's not going to be too long before we are all get, start getting duplicate content and if you are able to add new sources then that's less likely to happen and you can add new sources from here and in my case I'm going to add wife hacker and I'm probably going to add it to tech site although I can add a new tag also and I click import and now it's here however you don't you must not include triple W in your link now the next thing we can do is we can test if it scrapes content properly and I'm going to just enter a random keyword and as we see we're getting quite a lot of content basically these S signs are indication for a new paragraph basically what SEO content machine does is it takes all the paragraphs and it mixes them so that each instance of your article has different paragraphs which are then spun with your favorite spinner or with the built-in spinner if you don't have any other but what we need to see is that this works and it does work so I click OK mm. basically you can need, you can also open a browser and see how it looks in a browser and basically it uh, goes to Bing and this is the search query and as you see we are getting all kinds of articles on antivirus which you wouldn't be having access to if there wasn't the option to add new content sources so in my opinion this is quite a handy feature which can easily give you a competitive advantage over the people who are using just the built-in sources of other programs because they don't have the ability to add new ones next we have third-party logins basically here you can enter your login information for your uh, any services you're using okay, I'm using Word AI and Spinner Rewriter uh, Word AI is hugely recommended for tier 1 and lower tiers as well of course and lastly we have the custom thesaurus which is uh, SEO content machine has its own built-in but if for some reason you're not happy with it or you have a really good one from somewhere then you can import it and replace the current one so these were the options that SEO content machine has I hope this video has been useful for you and I'm waiting for any questions you may have in the comment section thanks for watching